Hi everyone, I'm Jamie Proviance, and today I'm grilling burgers, but not just any burgers. These are sesame hoisin pork burgers with grilled pineapple. Now, one of the keys to any great burger is it's got to be juicy. So I'm gonna show you four ways to make sure it's as juicy as possible. So the first way is to buy pork that has enough fat in it, because fat equals moisture. If the pork is too lean, your burgers are bound to be dry. But if you have enough whitish fat, like you see running throughout this meat, you're gonna get lots and lots of moisture. The second way is to fill the burgers with some added moisture. Um, and you can do that with some vegetables, which have a fair amount of uh, water in them. That's minced scallions. This is some minced garlic. And what I also like to do is to use some liquid condiments. Here I've got a, a chili sauce and also a toasted sesame oil. The third way is to avoid smashing the burger with a spatula. A lot of people make this mistake trying to flatten out the burger, but what they really do is push a lot of juice out and potentially cause flare-ups. The fourth way is to get the burgers off the grill before they're dry, and that is largely a matter of time and, and temperature. Burgers of this thickness over medium heat are fully cooked in about 12 minutes, but you can see that they still have moisture running throughout them. If I lightly press, you can see that fat and all the other bits of moisture. So get them off before they're dry, let them rest for a few minutes, and then let's build some burgers. So in the end, this is what you get, a spectacular pork burger. Remember that whenever you're cooking a burger, you're losing some moisture. That's just the price you pay for making it edible. But if you start with enough added moisture up front and you don't overcook them, you've got plenty left over for a perfectly juicy burger.